Welcome to the webinar, everyone. This is on End the Self-Sabotage and Create New Empowering Beliefs. And before we get started, um, I just want to let you know for this presentation, try to eliminate all distractions, like shut your cell phone off, because we're going to be doing an exercise and it needs your full attention. And you'll also need some paper and a blue pen, preferably a blue pen. It doesn't have to be a blue pen, but blue is uh, more of a positive color than black ink is. And I heard that they're better for your brain stimulation. So in this presentation, we're going to stop some of those self-sabotaging behaviors like overeating or feeling guilty about eating or yo-yo dieting. And I left some uh, another blank bullet for you to write down what self-sabotage behavior do you want to eliminate. So go ahead and write that down on your paper. And also in this presentation, after we clear out that self-sabotaging behaviors, we're going to start to create new empowering beliefs, which will help us with self-motivation. You'll be inspired to eat healthier and get that feeling good again, that I can attitude. So also write down on your paper what new empowering beliefs do you want to create um, tonight? So we're just setting our intentions of what we want to release and what we want to create. And then just to give you a little bit of a background about myself. So my name is Christine and I'm the creator of Power Over Cravings. And I was a dancer most of my life, so I was always pretty slender and, you know, active. And it wasn't until I got to my later years in college where I noticed that I really wanted to be thinner and so I would try to um, not eat as much which would cause me to binge eat because I wasn't giving myself enough food which then turned into whenever I was stressed out or mad at myself that I was binge eating, it would just cause me to binge eat even more. And it was just this emotional eating cycle. And I can I could kind of control it with healthy eating and you know just maintaining a healthy diet, eating consistently. But it was just always when I was stressed out, I would turn towards ice cream and cookies and sweets. I had such a sweet tooth. And then it wasn't until I found EFT or tapping where I was able to just not even want to binge eat anymore. I didn't even crave sweets anymore. It was amazing. And um, that's one of the te uh, techniques we're going to do later on um, that I'm going to show you. But after learning that, I, I dove into it and I became a certified coach in EFT specifically for emotional eating and binge eating. So um, yeah, this is, and then I created my website and I've been coaching people and I have an online program and it's just been amazing to be able to not only help myself, but help other people achieve their goal weight and overcome the emotional eating, overcome the self-sabotage. So that's where I am. So we're going to get right into the exercise. So step one is you're going to write down a clearly defined goal. What is the goal that you want to achieve um, as far as your health goes? So if it's a specific weight amount that you want to achieve or you want to lose a certain amount of pounds, go ahead and write that down. And it's whatever you feel is good for you, you feel good about it, that if you had this in your life, you'd be really happy about it, you just feel really good about it. So just go ahead and write that number down or whatever your goal is. The second part is a little bit harder. You're going to write a list of 20 answers to this question. What is the downside? to achieving this goal. And 
you'll note go ahead and um, you can start writing them down as they come to you but you'll notice that like maybe like the first three to five are really easy to kind of pick up but you have to really dig deep to get past that and the reason why I recommend that you do 20 is because you'll notice that once you start to get to the higher numbers, like number 15, 16, 17, you really have to think. And it causes you to dig deep. And you're actually probably become amazed at what comes up. And what this list is, is actually limiting beliefs that are holding you back from achieving that goal. And what we're going to do with this strategy with EFT is we're going to release these limiting beliefs so that going towards your goal just becomes effortless. It's pretty cool. So let me know just in the chat window when you've gotten to your 20 and you have them all written down in front of you. And I'll give you a few minutes. And actually, as you're writing them down, uh, one other thing I can let you know is that by doing this exercise, um, what happened was over the summer, I, I was just struggling with my weight. I, I had only gained about like 10 pounds, but it was the summer and I was like, I have to be in my bikini and I was stressing out about it. And I could, I could lose the weight quick. I could drop 10 pounds like in a couple of weeks, which is crazy because I was just being like super, um, perfectionist about it but then I would gain it back and it was just all summer long it was just up and down up and down it was just really aggravating me and no matter what tapping I was doing for it I was just always mad at myself about it so I did this exercise that we're going to do today um, about every day for like maybe four or five days and at first, it, was, it felt so good afterwards, um, the exercise that we're going to do. And then because I felt so good, I'm like, oh, let me try it again. Until the point where when I was writing down my list of answers to this question, like they didn't even bother me anymore. And then that's when I was like, became like super motivated again. I felt good again. And I just didn't even like, it was almost like a completely eliminated all those limiting beliefs so that's what I recommend do this tonight and then also try it tomorrow again and just keep going until these beliefs just don't even bother you and you're just totally motivated and feeling good again so in the chat window if you have all your 20 answers just go ahead and put all done or I've got my 20 just so I know when you're ready. Oh, and actually I have my notebook with me so I can give you some of the things that I wrote down um, when I first did this. Um, my answers were if I hit my goal weight, the downside would be one of them was it would be really hard to maintain it. It might feel like I'm depriving myself too much or I'll be hungry all the time, or I won't even appreciate it, or it won't even be worth it. Another one was, oh, this was further down the list. I couldn't believe I wrote this one, but I still wouldn't be happy. That was a huge shock to me. Another one was I would be tired all the time, or I would feel unmotivated or unproductive. Um, and another big one was along the lines of it would be hard to maintain it is I would get so depressed if I gained all the weight back, like if I got to my goal weight and then just gained it all back. So those were some of my big limiting beliefs. And how are we doing? Are we, are we got about our 20, list of 20 so far? Oh, 
almost. Okay, I'll give you a few more minutes. And they can be somewhat similar, like, or just kind of worded differently. Like, some of mine were along the same, like, I can almost bucket some of them into certain groups. They were kind of similar, but just worded differently. And just kind of go with whatever just comes up for you. Like, just kind of let the pen go, just kind of clear out your mind, and just let the words just write out themselves. And I saw that some people just joined, so what we're doing is an exercise. You just need a piece of paper and a pen. The step one was to write down what your goal was, well, your, what your goal is as far as health goes. Like if you want to weigh a certain amount or fit into a certain size clothes or um, you want to... Just be like, you know, not eat at night. Just, you know, be okay with just having water at night. I know that's a big one for a lot of people. Or you want to wake up um, feeling energized. I know I had one client who just, she was at, you know, she hadn't, she didn't have like a, she didn't have to lose weight. Like she didn't have a goal weight, but she would just binge eat at night and then she couldn't get up in the morning and she was just so groggy. So everybody's goals are different. And then step two is to write a list of 20 answers to the question, what is the downside to achieving this goal? And the reason we go for 20 is because you really have to dig deep you know, past, like, I would say even past, like, number 10, and really just kind of tune in to what comes up for you, and that's, I would say beyond 10 is where all the, like, the, the really impactful and jaw-dropping ones can come up. So on step three, you're going to circle the top three, the ones that kind of bother you the most um, and then once you pick out your top three on a scale of zero to ten how much do these limiting beliefs bother you so if they really really bother you like they just even just seeing them on the paper makes you feel like really mad or frustrated or disappointed that would be a ten or they don't bother you that much, you know that these are just, you know, stupid excuses and you could just brush them off your shoulder, that would be a zero. And just kind of tune in to whatever number just kind of comes up first or if you're into muscle testing, you can muscle test the number. I just kind of go with whatever number just kind of randomly comes up to my head and just go ahead and write down that number. And can you also put your number in the chat window? Just so I know where we're all starting out. And I'm hoping you're somewhere on the higher level of scale, like a seven, eight, nine, or 10, um, just so that we can really clear these things, so. Okay, so I got a, a six an 8, a 10, 7, six. Awesome. All right. So we're good to go into the tapping. So if you're not familiar with EFT, it stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, and it combines acupuncture and talk therapy and what we'll be doing is we're going to tap on certain acupuncture points while we're saying certain phrases and it sounds really weird and when I first saw this I thought it looked stupid too but it really works and there is a science behind it they've tested it at Harvard and it lowers your cortisol levels the hormone in your body that causes stress 
And it just helps you with all these things that I've listed, but it also makes you feel better. And that's the whole goal is when you have cravings, it's mostly because you're trying to stuff down an emotion. You're trying to hide some kind of stressful thing. That's what, um, it's funny that the word stressed reversed is desserts. So I wrote that down on there, but um, the whole goal of EFT or just eliminating cravings in general is to make to make you feel better. That's the end goal. So we're first going to start by tapping. You're going to take two fingers on one hand and tap on the karate chop point, which is the soft side of the palm, and just go ahead and tap there. Tap, 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 tap. And you're going to just repeat after me. So tapping on the point. And you can say out loud, even though I have these limiting beliefs that are holding me back from achieving my goal weight or my goal, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And I'm going to say that again, even though I have these limiting beliefs and they're so true for me, but I deeply and completely love and accept myself, even though I see these limiting beliefs right on the paper that are holding me back. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Next, we're gonna tap on the inner top of the eyebrow, so that first picture. So two fingers and just top on, uh, tap on either, either eyebrow is fine. And just repeat after me. These limiting beliefs, now tapping on the side of the eye, that are holding me back. Tapping underneath the eye, they really disappoint me. Tapping underneath the nose, these limiting beliefs. Tapping on the chin, that are holding me back. Tapping on the collarbone. And they're so true for me. Tapping on the top of the head. All these limiting beliefs. And now tapping back on the inner top eyebrow. And you're just going to say out loud those top, those top three limiting beliefs that you wrote down on your paper. So go ahead and say the first one as you're tapping on your eyebrow. Next, tap, tap on the side of the eye and say the second limiting belief. Now tapping underneath the eye, go ahead and say your third limiting belief. Tapping underneath the nose, repeat the first one again. Tapping on the chin and go ahead and say the next limiting belief. And tapping on the collarbone. Go ahead and say one of your limiting beliefs or a new one that might come up towards you that feels like it needs to be released. And now tapping on the top of the head and say, I release all these limiting beliefs, letting them all go. And then go ahead and take a deep breath in and blow it out. And now when you look at those top three limiting beliefs that you had wrote down, 
Now on a scale of zero to 10, how much do these bother you? And go ahead and write that number down. Most likely it's probably come down on the scale. And then also just put in the chat window what your number is now. Great, so I see a two, a three, a one, a zero. It's awesome. Yeah, so that's the great thing about EFT. It totally just relaxes you. It calms down that the stress around those beliefs that are holding you back. So now, um, if you have another piece of paper or on the reverse side of you, the piece of paper you're writing on, we're going to create new empowering beliefs. So for the three big beliefs that you had circled, what are new beliefs that you'd like to create that are opposite to the limiting beliefs? So for example, my limiting belief was it's going to be hard to maintain my goal weight. So the opposite of that, the new belief I came up with was that it could probably be pretty easy to maintain it um, and it would be okay if, if I fluctuated just a little bit. Another example is um, that I felt like I would be devastated if I gained all the way back. And a new empowering belief was that even if I just gained a few pounds, I could easily take it off. No big deal. And another one was um, that I would feel hungry or tired or deprived. And a new empowering belief, which I loved, um, and there's no wrong answers to this, it's all about what you believe. Um, my opposite to that was I would feel so healthy and energized being at that goal weight, which I had never thought of before. And it wasn't until I did the EFT tapping on that belief and then it just kind of came to me. So go ahead and write down your new empowering beliefs. And when you have those ready, pick out your top one that you really like and go ahead and put that in the chat window because I'd love to hear what your new empowering beliefs are going to be. I'm just trying to find some of the other ones that I had wrote down that maybe I can share with you while I'm waiting. Let's see. Oh, another good one was that I would totally appreciate it, and when I'd I'd feel um, just so good in my my goal weight. All right, good. So some of them are coming in. Looks like I feel healthy, I feel in control of my body. It's easy to maintain, good. Another, yeah, another one, it's safe to be at my goal weight. It feels safe, awesome. Feel healthy, in control, nice. Excellent. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a positive round of tapping. So for this one, we can skip the karate chop point and go right to the top of the eyebrow. So tapping with two fingers on top of the eyebrow. And just repeat after me. I'm ready for a change. Tapping on the side of the eye. I'm ready for new results. Tapping underneath the eye, I feel in control. Tapping underneath the nose, I feel healthy. Tapping on the chin, I feel so much better. Tapping on the collarbone, 
I feel so good. Tapping on the top of the head, I can do this. Tapping on the top of the eyebrow, I feel so inspired. Tapping on the side of the eye, it feels amazing. Tapping underneath the eye, and I totally enjoy eating healthy. Tapping underneath the nose, it feels amazing. Tapping under on um, the chin, I feel so good right now. And tapping on the collarbone, I love these new beliefs. Tapping on the top of the head, I feel so inspired. And now you're going to close your eyes and go ahead and tap through the points. Just give it a few taps and then move on to the next one. And just visualize being at your goal, having the feeling of feeling so inspired, feeling in control of yourself, feeling so good, feeling so much better, feeling like you can, feeling like you're unstoppable, that you have this crazy motivation and you're not even trying. Like you feel good moving your body, you feel good eating slowly and mindfully, and you're just so happy. You just walk around with, your, with a smile on your face all the time. Okay, and then you can stop tapping. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. Good. And now, how do you feel now? Did you notice that you have a change in your body posture? Like, I, actually, I noticed I did. I just feel like I'm sitting up like way much taller than I was a few minutes ago. And has there been a change in your facial expression? Are you smiling now? Or were you smiling during that last session? Do you feel lighter, relaxed, calm? And most importantly, do you feel good? And what you feel right now, you want to maintain this as much as you can. And now that you have this tapping, like you know you can, anytime you feel like a little off from feeling good, you know that you have this tapping to get yourself back into that feel-good state. And then that's when like everything, it's almost like magical, like everything just is so smooth and free-flowing and it's just so easy. So that's the strategy for you. I hope you loved it. I hope you use it again and it helps you tremendously. I want to honor you for taking your time out tonight to learn this and give you even more. And I'll also open it up to questions. So for further strategies, I have a six week online program. It's called the Be Free Program. And every week you get a new video and worksheet and there's tapping exercises like this one. There's one specific for um, food cravings for specific foods. There's also a really powerful goal setting right in the first week. There's also um, tips and strategies on advanced mindful eating, as well as how to feel satisfied with less food, how to wake up feeling skinny and refreshed and light, um, and then some other nutrition guidelines on controlling cravings and a lot of other things and I'll give you the the website link so you can read more about it. I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching by phone or Skype so that's also available to you too. And for the special pricing for the holiday season because we're coming into the holidays we have Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas is when all the craving foods are just going to be out there. So I'm doing a special pricing. Typically the six week online program is $97 and the discounted price is going to be $67. 
You could also do two one-hour coaching strategy sessions with me by phone or Skype, and that's regularly $197, but for the special, it's $127. And also, you can. Um, I have a third package, which is the Be Free program plus two one hour sessions plus a personalized MP3 tapping so that um, when you're in the, that crazy, I mean, <laughs> I can't even talk, that crazy craving mode or you're feeling stressed out. You'll, you could put this on an MP3 player or on your phone and just plug in your ear pods and then you don't even have to think about what to tap to. You just start tapping and just listening to my voice or repeating my voice as you're tapping and instantly helps you get back to that feel good state for coming. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and put it in the chat window or you can always email me um, and uh, text me or call me tonight if you need to if you have any questions. And thank you so much. And I hope you're feeling amazing right now after we just did that tapping session. I know I feel so much better. <laughs> so. Awesome. All right. I'm just seeing lots of thank yous and looks like you're all in good, you know, feeling good and all that. But thank you all for attending.